Now we take a look back at one of the more memorable recent runs in area hoops with a program playing in its final season in school history. The Strong Vincent Colonels boys basketball program saw it all from a community divided over violence, the loss of transfer Samuel Wolford to Meadville and Brian Williams to McDowell before the 2016-17 season even began, but ultimately the Colonels left a legacy in their last season together. It was really Strong Vincent against against the world and, and you know and it basically wasn't just our team, but it was our, our school and, you know, in our community. Facing the reality of an uncertain future for Erie's city schools, Strong Vincent boys basketball head coach Shannon Pulliam and his Colonels laid it all on the line in the 2016-17 season, their final season as a team. This was a confident, close-knit, and very unselfish team. Um, from, the, from the reserves to the starters, everybody knew, accepted, and played their role. And for Vincent, it all started with the all-time leading scorer in the history of Erie County boys basketball, Division I Tennessee State bound, and now IUP point guard David Morris. I feel like what made our team so special is that we just, we all had the same goal coming into high school. We've been playing together since we were young, and we knew once when we, when we team up, we know we could do something special. But even with Morris averaging nearly 24 points a night as a senior, there was much more to this Colonel team that wound up with a record of 27 and 4. We had RJ Gore that was that was light, a lights out shooter. We had Taj Mir Jones that was running running a point. Um, you had Jerome Henderson that you know was a force that, that could score. Will Lyons, who to me was was the dark horse. He was the, he was the glue. He was the unsung hero. We put in a lot of work, hard work, dedication, and we stayed in the gym even on our off time. And SV is just like a brotherhood. We always stood together. Rattling off 16 consecutive wins at one point, being crowned District 10 Class 4A champions, and hammering the majority of its postseason competition. Strong Vincent's nine point state semifinal win over Quaker Valley at Slippery Rock University sent the proud Colonel program back to Hershey. But with former players in the locker room after that game, it was about much more than the result that night. We all was, was in there celebrating. Um, there was guys in there that hadn't spoken to me and hadn't spoken to each other because of some of the stuff that was the violence and the turmoil that was going on in, in our community. What's going on in our city got to stop. stop. And it's going to stop with us. <laughs> to have some of those players and to have um, a lot of players that came up to the program to be there and to celebrate, it was very, very special. It's a memory that I will always cherish. And even settling for silver in an 80-52 to 52 state final lost Emotep charter, the Colonels came together as a team, as a program, and as a community, a group with a deep connection still to this day. Playing in the state championship game, it was definitely a, it was a dream come true. It honestly, it felt like a movie. It was just a lot of emotions going through all of our heads. We were excited, determined. It's just something that we knew this was the goal, and we finally could get there. It just felt amazing.